Huh, I wonder where we're going to park this airplane when we get back. In the hangar. Okay. <laughs> I've done that yet. We well, must throw new things out here today. It was, so. it was in the hangar when I got home, uh, when I got in here today. Made so, you nervous, didn't it? No, no. I, I, yeah, my first thought was what broke. <laughs> and I said, no, no, there weren't any parking spaces we put in the hangar. All right, Chuck, you have the aircraft for a minute, so you can okay. taxi up to the hold line for Okay, I'm doing that. Probably the quickest we've ever done this. Uh -huh. All right, Pfizer's up, good to go. Okay. We'll call Gortown Tower and we'll be ready. Flying looks clear. Uh, Are you zipping right along? Yeah. Georgetown Ground Warrior 8405. Tower. Georgetown Tower Warrior 8405 Mike holding short runway 18 ready for departure. 8405 Mike Georgetown Tower. We can proceed on course runway 18 clear for takeoff. Proceed on course clear for takeoff runway 18405 Mike. That guy just whipped around behind there. He was just taxiing so fast. Yeah, did you see what he did behind us? Yeah, That's why I was a little. Yeah, I heard him going by behind us. Okay, files clear except for that bird way out there. Runway's clear. Let's get some air in here. Okay. All right, moving left. I see 180 on the runway. All instrumentations in indicating correct. Wind still almost straight down the runway. I would have one hand on the yoke when you're doing I'm that. I'm getting yeah. there. Yep. <laughs> okay. Instruments are green, all pressure's good, fuel pressure's good, and fuel temperature's good, and airspeed's alive. D5 knots. And looking for 79. Thousand two hundred feet, left turn zero nine zero. Okay. All right, you're looking for traffic. I'm putting the visor down. Okay, I'm looking for traffic. Do you know the procedures off the top of your head that we follow when we do slow flight for stalls in these airplanes? Um, what? Okay, they're, they're probably they're not, you know they're probably very similar to whatever you did on your private. You know, we always do clearing turns. We do our gum checks first. We do mixture edge fuel tank on. Make sure we're running on a tank with plenty of gas. <coughs> Uh, and of course I said clearing turns, so then we pull our power back to about 1900 RPM and slow the airplane down uh, and configure for whichever one it is. If it's, um, if, it's a, if it's slow flight, we go full flaps and maintain our altitude. If it's uh, a power off stall, we'll bring in our full flaps and, and set about 1500 RPM and, and do a stabilized descent until we level off and stall, and when we do a, a power on stall, we pull our power back to 1900 and slow to 80 knots, and when we get to 80, we go full power, pitch up, and, and stall. And I'll talk you through it here so that, you know, as necessary. Oh, you got it all written down there, huh? Okay. I just have to change my RPM setting. Okay. Hopefully you never are.
are flying IFR and have to do a stall recovery, but... <laughs> it does. If you do, it means you probably did something wrong. Or poor technique. Not too bad on the bumpies today, but it's a little bit bumpy. So on a day's work? Yep. If I'm convinced you're not working too hard right now. Well, I'm paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, coming up on 3,000 feet. Yeah. We can get that last little bit going. Fighting a heck of a headwind. Alright, there we go. Lower the nose. Go up to 100 and... Uh, somewhere between 90 and 100. Go well, back to your 23. Pitch. Your pitch just went up and, and you're going to climb. You can see it so, first there. There's a lag before you start to climb. Your nose just went up again. You're going to start to climb. 2300 RPMs. So you got to really pay attention to maintaining your pitch attitude. Yeah, just about, about right. Don't pull your, don't, uh, yeah, don't pull it back, because you're climbing, see? So you're pulling your power back, and you got to pay attention to maintaining your altitude and getting everything stable. It takes kind of varies a little bit from day to day. Usually, it's between 23 and 2400, depending on conditions. So that's why you gotta, you know, get your altitude where you want it. Try and get it right at 3000, because ATC will come back and bug you if you're always getting off your altitude. So let's do our gumps checklist. Fuel pump's coming off. Okay. Fuel pump's off. Fuel pressure remained. Start our lean process.
a minute ago we were at 1350. Okay. All right. I'll get out. So if we had landing lights on, we'd turn those off, gears to fix, and we're on our fullest tank. Okay. All right, so how about if you do a 180 degree clearing turn, a left left turn, level, standard rate, 180 degree clearing turn. 180 degree, my left turn, 270, level flight. Turn. Level flight. Go find Mike. Starting our turn, clear. Okay, you know, that's what I'm clearing, I'm looking. Make sure nobody else is around here. You can roll out here. I don't see anybody around us. Okay. okay. All right, so let's set up for slow flight. All right, slow flight coming back to 1,900 RPMs. Okay. Don't forget the mixture rich and fuel pump on. That's the first thing you do. I add that to my yeah. check. I'm not used to having to do that. Yeah, and assess that you don't do it? Nope. Yeah, okay. No, because we, you know, we don't have the fuel pump. Yeah. Our fuel pump. And you're always on both. And you should be maintaining 3,000 feet. You maintain your altitude within 100 feet when you're doing this. So if you bring the rest of your flaps in, you'll get some drag. And you can kind of creep down to 3,000 feet and level off. When you level off, your airspeed ought to come back. One four one. If you'd like traffic advisories, Austin's on one one nine or point zero today. One one nine or zero. Thank you. I'll be seeing you in a little bit. to 3,000, hold level flight, and let your airspeed slow down to the 55 to 60, and then add some power to hold it, and it'll be close to 2,000 RPM to actually hold you in slow flight. You'll see that you're being at a higher pitch attitude. Yeah. I was waiting for three, watching speed. Yep. 55 to 60 knots. Then you get to feel how mushy the airplane feels in non responses so that if you ever did get going this slow, you would feel it and say, hey, something may right. I must be going too slow. All right, so let's do a standard rate turn to the right and maintain your altitude. Standard rate turn to the right. Give me a yep. head, Chuck. Uh, right turn 360. Right turn 360. So when you roll into a turn, you got to add a little bit of back pressure. you got to monitor your airspeed because you might have to add a little power to maintain your airspeed. Okay, doke. How about a 90, uh, left turn to 270? Left turn 270. And these are, these are additional clearing turns for me while you're practicing with slow flight. Doing a good job maintaining your altitude? Yep, but now just when I say that, you start to descend. Add a little back pressure when you roll into the turn and then monitor your airspeed. You might have to add some power. Because you're loading the airplane up a little bit when you roll into a turn and you're in a high drag configuration. All right, so you're doing real well until on that when you lost some altitude. You can see how hard it is to get your altitude back. Try and get your, try and maintain your airspeed and get your altitude back. Just go full power, you know, and 
Maintain your airspeed. Full power, maintain your airspeed. Try and get back to 3,000. You can see how you're behind the power curve and it's... I'm going to keep it in slow flight and make it happen. That's what I was saying. Maintain your airspeed and just... Yeah. Once you get to 3,000... Yeah. Reestablish slow flight. All right. All right. Good. So now let's transition. Let's make a let's turn away from Georgia. Let's make a right turn to the uh, back to the north. Turn right away. turn three six zero. Yeah. Turn away from Georgetown. Maintain your altitude. you to maintain your airspeed, reduce your power to 1500 RPM, lower your nose, establish a 500 foot per minute rate of descent, lower your nose as you pull your power off, so you maintain your airspeed. 1500? About 1500 RPM and a 500 foot per minute rate of descent. We're simulating that we're on a you know low power kind of approach. Uh, you get your descent, yeah. Yeah, steady pitch. Constant airspeed. So we're going to stabilize descent now. Level off and hold your altitude until the airplane stalls. Maintain coordinated flight. Pitching up to stop yourself from descending. And when you feel the buffet, recover. On your attitude indicator, nose just below the horizon and full power. Bad and back pressure. Just blow the rise and full power. Right away, full power. Okay, you're flying airspeed. You can level off, stop your descent. You, no. First thing you do, you stall it. You've got to get, you know, level the airplane off. And, then, you know, now clean up the airplane and get your airspeed back. Yeah, clean up the airplane and climb back up to 3,000. When you stall the airplane, the first thing you want to do is, you know, Get rid of the, release the back pressure enough to stop the buffet full power. Get a flying airspeed, stop your descent, start a climb, clean up the airplane, get away from the ground. Because you're probably stalling on an approach, and you're probably close to the ground. Okay, while you're climbing, uh, turn to the uh, right, right turn to uh, 090. Right, right turn 090. While you're climbing, yep. And then level off at 3000, we'll do a power on stall. Okay, so we just did a clearing turn. I don't see anybody around. So our, our GUPS checks have been done. We've got a fuel pump on our mixture ridge. So you can pull your power back to 1900 RPM. Airplane stable first. So power back to 1900 RPM. 1900. Maintain your altitude and let your airspeed slow to 80 knots. When you get to 80 knots, full power and pitch up about 10 to 15 degrees nose up. Okay, you're at 80 knots. Full power and pitch up enough so the airspeed is slowly bleeding off. Maintain your wings level, keep your ball centered, and keep your airspeed slowly bleeding off. Hey, Georgetown Tower, Conquest 470, runway's with you on the visual runway 18 to the north. Maintain your pitch. You got to keep that. Yeah, keep that back pressure. Wind variable one three zero to one nine or zero at one zero gust one six. Cleared land runway one eight. Cleared land runway one eight four seven zero. Yeah, hold the nose up. Hold the nose up. Hold it. There's. It's starting to feel some buffet. All right. So there's the buffet. 
Well, you know, don't descend. You want a minimum, if you're flying airspeed, you don't need to go down. You want a minimum altitude loss. Alright, so we're back to flying and we're going to do it. So we're good. Alright, so get yourself all stabilized. You can stay right here at 3300. Get yourself all trimmed up and stabilized. Then we're going to... Okay? Okay, so those are pretty decent. You, gotta, you know, you just always got to work on altitude control. So now, let's try and do a steep turn, okay? So get your get your airplane all trimmed up and stabilized at 90 knots, something between 90 and 100. You don't want to be too slow. And, and put your heading bug on a heading, and we'll do a 360-degree turn back to a heading. Okay. I hate this, this, by the way. Yeah. You're doing it on instruments, you know. Yep. Smoothly rolling into it and maintaining level flight right here. So, whenever you're ready, 45 degrees of bank. Going to the left. Okay. And you're clear left. Don't climb. Don't be too quick on the, the add the back pressure. Maintain your pitch here. That's about 30 degrees of bang. Get up towards 45, you get to add some back pressure. Sure, Julia, Romeo, you said Bravo. You're parking again. Yes, sir, on the north side of the gate hanger. I'm supposed to have Juliet Romeo, taxi again via Bravo Alpha, monitor ground. So monitor ground via Bravo, and now plus 470. And roll out on the heading you started on. We're not quite at 45 degrees of bank. It's right between those two, 30 and 60. Yeah, that's more than enough rudder to roll out. Okay, you roll out, pull your power back. Your airspeed's getting away from you. Okay, not too bad. Let's do one the other way. Right turn. Right, right turn, opposite direction. Okay, 45 degrees of bank. 3,200 feet. All right, here we go, right turn. Okay. Well, I just saw something out of the corner of my eye, and I thought it was an airplane, but it was the moon. <laughs> no, I was about to roll the other way, I tell you. No, no, it was the moon. I feel like we're descending. Yes, we are. I saw your nose drop a little bit. Are you trimming the airplane up, or are you just using... No, it's all hand. Okay. And you can... A lot of guys find it easier to use back pressure. I mean, use a little trim when they roll into a, you know, a stable turn like this, but you can do it either way. I lost so much on this one, we're going to yeah. try it again. Okay, so roll out on something. Get yourself stable. Roll out on your heading and get yourself stabilized at 3,000 feet or something. At any altitude, just... Whatever you're at, just try and stay at it. So your airspeed bled off a lot. You didn't have power when you rolled into that turn. All right, you ready? Let's go to the right side again here in a minute. Okay, okay. Get back up to 3,000 now. Yeah, get yourself stabilized at your altitude and smoothly roll in and add back pressure. Don't let your nose descend on your pitch attitude. Speed back up into the 90 to 100 range. All right, Chuck, you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Okay. So add a little power so your speed doesn't bleed off. Go back pressure because you're going to descend. You're correcting your altitude. Back to your heading. Oops. 
rolled out too early. Yeah. Okay, he still lost a little bit of altitude, but... Anyway, that was better. All right, let me get a couple of the usual attitudes. Okay, I got the airplane. No! <laughs> you have the flight controls. I got the airplane. I see another airplane out there. Georgetown Tower, Duke, uh, 11141 is uh, with information inbound to land. I need to lose some altitude uh, over the field. Duke, 11141, Georgetown Tower. Roger, clear to land, runway 18. And uh, overflight is approved. Uh, wherever you need to lose your altitude is approved. There's no traffic. Okay, recover. Okay, 141. I'll go over the field for a left downwind if that works. Roger. I started to do more, but there was an airplane out there, and I had to. I, had to <laughs> I said I can't turn that far. He was going into Georgetown to land. Okay, let me get one more. All right. You have the flight controls? Okay, I got the airplane. Okay, recover. All right, get yourself all trimmed up at 3,000 feet. Ah, oh. oh, this is that other thing you gotta do. This is that other thing you gotta do. That's a fun thing. Okay, so now, get yourself all stabilized there, You're flying at 3,000 feet, look at your compass, and give me a uh, left turn to the north. Left turn to the north. Georgetown Tower, Skyhawk 62. And use your compass, and, when, and tell me when you'll start your rollout. With information delta, requesting touching. 30 degrees before north. Okay. So, standard right, left turn, maintain your altitude. 3,000. 3,000. Affirmative. Roger, report. Uh, looks like you're northeast of the airport. Report three miles northeast for left traffic runway 18. 543 northeast for left traffic 18. Two alpha with me. Duke 141, clear to land runway 18. 141, uh, we're coming, we're over the field to make starting our left base. Roger. Left downwind, sorry. Roger. George Town Tower, Mall 55033. Mall five five zero three three Georgetown Tower. Yeah, with you inbound uh, about eight eight miles north of the field. Mall zero three three, make straight in runway one eight. Report three mile final. So you're gonna roll out thirty three degrees before. Four. Four. Uh, runway one okay. eight. Right there. Three mile okay. final. Mall zero three three. Take away about five degrees from that because there's a 30 degree lead, less a lag, less, less your rollout lead. So about 25 degrees, you know. It's, and when you interpolate around 30 degrees, when you're at zero three zero, it's not a full 30 degree lag. So it's less than that. All right, let's do a left turn and roll out zero, uh, two, uh, 270. Left turn 270, so now we're going uh, right on yeah, about 5 degrees before 270. Yeah, somewhere maybe close to 10 degrees. Between 5 and 10 degrees prior. Zero, three, Oops, three, you passed it. 11 o'clock and a mile huh? and a half. You passed it. On the left base in front of you is a dupe. 
Okay. No joy on the Duke yet. We're looking 550. Yeah, you went right past it, sir. And the Duke's turning final. Okay. So try so, and. Uh, okay, you're correct into 270. Source down tower, Bonanza 6074 Sierra. Okay, let's do a left turn to the zero, south. 74 Sierra, Georgetown tower. Okay, 30 so, degrees out to 180. Uh, not quite a full 30, but maybe. maybe uh, and 74 Sierra. Maybe 25. Runway 18, report 3 mile final. Four three miles. Okay. Seven four zero. So twenty five for whiskey. Uh, fly southbound. Passed it for a left down right. wind leg entry. You're gonna be number four for the airport. That would be minus one eighty. South south with you. One eighty. Yeah. One eighty minus twenty five. Fifty five. Yep. Hey, my math's even on today, Chuck. Okay. That's what that's gonna happen. Okay. All zero three three. So standard rate turn. Traffic. Uh, number two, clear to land runway one eight. Okay, cleared to land, uh, 3.8 out now, I'm all 55033, number two. Pretty close. Okay. Never going to be perfect. No, they're never going to be perfect, but you know, that, at least you seem to understand the concept. Okay, so let's try and do a... Uh, get your, you're right on south, try and do a timed turn, a 90 degree timed turn, which would be 45 seconds. 90 degrees? Yeah, 90 degrees to the left. Uh, time? Okay. Ramp. But a 90 degree turn is only 15 seconds. No, 3 degrees, 30 seconds, excuse me. 30, what did I, what did I say? I don't know, there's a lot more than that. Okay, a one minute is 180 degrees. Right. 30 seconds is 90, <laughs> 90 degrees. degrees. Yeah, I don't know what I said, but... Uh, Ready? Yep. Which way are we going? Left. Oh, the tower stable, oh, yeah. yeah, just outside the thing is about Wind center. 180 one at 10. Bonanza 7-4 Sierra, start uh, reducing your airspeed to follow traffic. You're number two following a mile on a mile and a half final. That's 15 seconds. That's 45 degrees. So That's 90 it. degrees, right? Yeah, 90 degrees is 30 seconds, so you only went to... I don't know what I was thinking. 90 divided by 3 is 30. 3 degrees per second. Yep. So anyway, time to roll out, because your timing is all... You rolled out intermittent in the middle. Pretty close. Yeah, you know, just by accident. No, it was on purpose. <laughs> okay. Ninja seven four zero. Try so, twelve so o'clock. Try. Okay, so get stable. You're on zero nine zero. So do a thirty. Looking at this, when it's straight up. Okay. Ninety degree turn to the left. Roll out zero nine zero. I mean three six zero. IFR is an emergency. Say again? You ever had to do this real world IFR? You declare an emergency. Small 033, turn left to taxiway, Bravo, say park. A little bit short. You weren't at a full standard rate the whole time, so. So now that's, that'd be 10 seconds, 30 degrees, 30 degrees per second, roll into a standard rate for 10 seconds, and roll out. Okay. Bonanza 7 4 Sierra, clear to land runway 1 8. Yeah. Want to do it again? Oh, no, no, I was just trying to get you correct to 360. So now it's about 7 seconds, because you're only 20 degrees off. You've been, you were turning while you were. You got to go right to fewer less than standard rate. Can two up with you turn it yet? Alpha Whiskey, turn to the airport. We're creeping towards north. Cut with me. All right. Enough of the turns. As long as you understand, you understand how to do them, right? <laughs> yeah. You, know, you got to hold it. You got to really be, you know, pay attention. You got to roll right into standard rate. Start your turn. 
And then 30 seconds later, you know, or whatever the timing is, then you start your rollout. In the 7 turn Because you're Bravo, in the turn Bravo, for the full time. Bravo going to right. the... Uh, so you start your roll-in to you start your rollout is the time. Alpha monitor ground. Bravo. All right, let's change the tank slower out here. Okay. All right, fuel pressure. Fuel pressure's in the green. Tank's on the right. Fuel pressure's still good. Okay. Now we can leave the fuel pressure. You don't want to leave it on? Yeah, we're going to do stalls. We're going to do stalls under the hood. We did this. Let's do we didn't do a partial panel. Oh, shit. Okay, so give me a right turn to the south. So we don't end up driving too far away. Right here. turn to the south. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you're doing a good job maintaining your altitude here. Starting a little descent, so you got a little back pressure. Turn? Don't make left traffic. No, I tried to do a time turn. Uh, I'll use a compass turn. Try and roll out to the south. Really pay good attention to these. You rolled out before south instead of after south. All right, one minute I get it right, the other minute I screw it up. Go like 25 degrees past it. Is this small of a turn? Yeah, it's still the same lead error. It's still the same error. Okay. As long as you have time to stabilize in your turn, the error will be the same, whether you turn 180 degrees or 20, you know, 30 degrees. So we're pretty close to south. Okay, so let's do slow flight. All right, slow flight, here we go. Coming back to 1900 RPMs. Maintain your altitude. And 20, 30. That's actually full in this one. Yeah. It's actually 10, 25, 40. So add power to hold your airspeed. Let me get it down there first. It's down there. You got to lead it a little bit. The airplane is slowing and you want to bring in the power so you can stop it where you want it. Yeah, pretty good. All right, how about a, uh, a right turn about uh, a right turn to the west? Right turn to the west. That's a clearing turn before we do a power off stall. We're going south, so you're going to do a turn to the west. Okay. So five degrees before, I'm going to roll out. Yeah, about five degrees prior to the uh, 270. Well, you're flying, uh, you're maintaining your altitude better partial panel than you did with all your instruments. No, I think we're out of that air that was screwing me up. Ah, okay. That's my excuse. Okay. All right, so now... Pull your nose and establish, a, maintain your airspeed, pitch for your airspeed, set 1500 RPM, and maintain a stabilized descent about 500 feet per minute. Pitch for your, your airspeed's constant, you know, about 70 knots, 65, something like that. Okay. And Absolutely. then, and you're in a stabilized descent, full flaps, okay? We are? Now, yeah, you are. That's what... Oh, no, I'm saying we are. Check. <laughs> check. <laughs> okay, so now, level off. And level flight, and when it stalls, release enough to break the stall. Don't dump the nose, but, you know, so you break the stall. And then full power, when you got 60 knots, start to bring the nose up. And don't bring it up so fast, you stall again. So maintain your altitude, keep adding back pressure, keep the... Okay, there's your stall. Okay? Just... Whoa. Oh, yeah. All right, 60 knots, you're flying. You can start to level off. Yeah. Or slowly retract your flaps. All right, climb back up to 3,000.
All right, so looking at your bad compass there, how about a, a left turn to the south? All right, left turn to the south. Yep. One thing at a time. Okay. There we go. We're coming out 30 degrees before south. No, after south. Yeah. 25 degrees, sorry. Yeah. Might have gone a little too far, but oh, it came up. Well, you're decelerating now, so it screws it up. Uh -huh. Came out pretty close. All right. Okay. So now pull your power back to 1900 RPM and slow to 80 knots. We get to 80 knots. So you're going to use, airspeed is going to be your pitch control on this one. You're going to pitch up so that your airspeed is slowly bleeding off. And then when it stalls, release the back pressure. And, you know, your altimeter shows you if you're level or not, okay? So now, watch your airspeed and your pitch to keep your airspeed slowly de decreasing. So there's some buffet, so lower your nose, verify you still got full power and level off. Whiskey midfield. And recover. This is 6 off whiskey, runway 18, clear for touch and go. Okay, okay. Clear touch and go, 18, clear off whiskey. That was easier, partial panel, it looked like. Because you're not looking so much at this, you're watching your airspeed, you're maintaining sufficient pitch to have your airspeed bleeding off. Okay, let me give you a couple unusual attitudes under the hood. You know the flight I control. I the airplane. Oh, no. This is, you know we haven't done this before, so this could be different. You have to make sure I don't look up. I don't know okay. how I'm going to figure this out. I got it. Okay. All right. Recover. One more. Do you have point controls? Oh, man. Okay. Recover. Look, I think you were trying to blow my eardrum. Uh, okay, Warrior 8405 I maintain 3,000, advisory, uh, heading, uh, let's see, maintain present heading for, for now. Advise when, you, advise when you have the Georgetown weather, expect a GPS 1-8 at Georgetown. All right, expect GPS 1-8, we'll call you when we got the weather, 05 Mike. 1-9 or 0 degrees, visibility 1-0, few clouds 5,000, temperature 33, 2.19 or altimeter 29 or 76. Visual approach and use, landing and departing, runway 18. Caution for bird activity, all of you for departures, advise ground control, direction of flight, advise our initial contact, you have Delta. Shantower information, Delta, 2150 Zulu weather, wind 170 at 10, wind variable 130 to 190 degrees, visibility 10, few clouds 5,000, temperature 33, 2.19 or altimeter 29 or 76, visual approach and use, landing and departing, runway 18, caution for bird activity. Okay, current altimeter is 299 or 6, information Delta. 2976. 29, sorry, 2976. 2976. Okay. And uh, we got some pretty interesting winds. Okay. Zero five zero, um, uh, Warrior 8405 Mike, turn left heading 330. When able, proceed direct Axe Left turn 330 and direct Asbrook. Axe Swab. Axe Swab for zero 05 Mike. Okay. Axe Swab is the initial approach fixed for the GPS. Yep, yep, nope, second. Okay. And 3000. 
And while you're turning, think about what you got to do to set up direct axle. Don't do it while you're turning. Wait you're nope, turning. I stopped doing one thing at all time. Okay. Kind of. I think the axle is probably further to the left, but okay, we'll find, right. we'll find out real quick. flight plan and you got in your back to your nav pages. There. All right, so let's go over the turn real quick. Okay. Approach course is going to be 178. Touchdown elevation is 78. you're heading while you're doing that. Don't look down too long. Get yourself, you know, back up to 3,000 feet and on your heading. Touchdown elevation 786 feet. We gotta remain maintain uh, three thousand feet till Tolia. At Tolia, we're gonna descend down to twenty four hundred feet. Uh, gotta be at or above twenty four hundred feet at Fenya. Um, from Fenya, we're gonna go over to Fornia. And at that point, we're gonna send down to fourteen sixty. Our missile approach. Full stop. Missile Alpha, worst case. Our missile approach. Our decision altitude is twelve hundred feet. Yep. Have LNAV plus vertical guidance. So if you intercept the glide path at, at uh, Finu, then the glide path will keep you uh, above the 1460 at Fornham and take you down to 1200 feet. Correct. All right. In the event we miss the approach, uh, we'll make a climbing left turn to 35, 3,500 feet, direct Darte and home. Okie dokie. Hopefully we don't do that. Nope. All right, so try and keep your air, your altitudes within 100 feet of your your uh, target for now, 3,000 feet. On the at or above altitudes, stay in the 100-foot window above the altitudes. Don't bust them. And then uh, don't forget to do your checklist. So. Yep. So we'll get that once we get to the final approach. Yeah, well, we've been mixed your fuel pump on while we've been doing all these maneuvers. So, so. I'm still going to go through it. Yep, absolutely. Oh, we got a heck of a crosswind today. Well, the winds are one seven, one out of the south. Basically, they're varying a little bit left and right, 20, 20 30 degrees, but basically down the runway. It might be a little bit from the right or a little bit from the left. All right. Airspeed control, altitude control, everything looks pretty good. When the weather cooperates, Fly a plane? Yeah, or, or if maybe because you're getting more proficient. A combination of the two. My ear's been fixed. Okay. All right, six miles to our next turn. Yep. Uh, Georgetown Tower, mile five. That turn, we should turn to a heading of 178. No. Nope, sorry, 268. Yes. 5-5-0-3-3, Georgetown Tower, hope short of runway 18. One thing here, you can always look to see what's your waypoint you're coming to, you know, you're, you're going to. 5-5-0-3-3, uh, 
three back off short of runway one eight for landing traffic. Uh, mile five five zero three three, uh, hold short of one eight. Uh, George Talk Tower, helicopter one four three Victor Alpha with Delta at training. Helicopter one four three Victor Alpha, George Town Tower. Three Victor Alpha would like to taxi to the fuel pump. Helicopter uh, three Victor Alpha, proceed to uh, Alpha and hold on Alpha for traffic. Hold short Alpha, three Victor Alpha. Those clouds just all went away. Say again? The clouds all went away. Well, yeah, it's going to be ugly tomorrow, I heard. Well, tomorrow night this was the flood going through. Alpha Whiskey, Sid Parker. Genesis. Six off whiskey, turn right on Bravo, taxi to Genesis, monitor ground. I have no idea what the timing of that thing will be. Mile 033, proceed on course, runway 18, clear to go. Oh, come on up, drop, leave me alone. 55033, clear to go, 18, thank you. I wonder do I always have the habit to drift to the okay, left. Three Victor Alpha, proceed to the pumps via taxiway Alpha. Proceeding to the pumps via oh. Alpha. Is that in your cross check? That's the first. It was. I was just ascending because I was okay. up too high. Okay. So the first thing that happens is your pitch changes. Oh, it is. You know, and if you're paying attention to your attitude indicator, that'll minimize that. The second thing that happens is this starts to swing, and then your altitude goes. All right, less than a mile. Yep. Hey, turn into two six eight. Turning the. Okay, you got it. So Close to two six eight. Okay, so this thing's going to tell you that in a little while. It's gonna yep. be within a degree, you know, the GPS computes the the, the headings as two seven zero. You know, seven seconds, six. Close enough. Right, turning 270. Okay. I, mean, I don't see anybody out there. Remember the wind correction. Yep, that's why I said my thing. I want to see i got to come one left another 10 degrees. Another 3 degrees. Right there. Yep, you're tracking 270. I told you, but I was, I was flying the Duchess back from uh, uh, Lubbock one time. And that thing cruises 135, 140. I had 35 degrees of crab because the winds were so strong out of the west. You know, it really looked weird flying down my airway. <laughs> That's the kind of winds you run into sometimes. All right, so we're about three miles from our next point. That point, we're going to turn left to 178. Okay. And then we'll start our descent down to 2,400. Yeah, I mean, always keep in mind, too, how much time you have to descend. That's a six-mile leg to lose 600 feet, so it's not a rush. Nope. Oh. 
And our call is going to be Georgetown Tower, Warrior 8405 Mike, 10 miles to the north with information Delta, uh, straight in runway 18. Yep, okay. Sounds good. The tower sounds quiet right now. Verify frequency is the same, 120.22, 120.22. Yep. Now look at that. They hit the bump, it drops. Uh -huh. Right out of the draft. All right, one seven nine and ten. One seven nine. path and you'll be able to consistently, you know, do this kind of a descent for like a, a wide path descent. So the constant airspeed descent is trimmed up for, you know, 95 knots or so. You just reduce your power and maintain your airspeed on a descent. All right. You should be tracking 179. Yep. From the left just a little. Georgetown Tower, Warrior 8405 Mike's uh, straight in runway 18, uh, 10 miles to the north with information Delta. Warrior 8405 Mike, Georgetown Tower, make straight in runway 18, report a 3 mile final. Straight in runway 18, report 3 mile final for 05 Mike. All right, you going to do another, uh, you did a, a great landing last time we flew, I, if I remember right, didn't you? It was half. Yeah. One wheel was great, the other wheel did, hesitated. Okay, all right. Do <laughs> it again. We're going to try. Hey, come back to 180, we're going to correct only 5 degrees. And we're not going to send below 2,500. 2,400. I got you. I got 100 feet there. I don't want to okay. bust. Okay. All right, come check one last time. Fuel pumps on. Mixer's rich. We're on the full tank, the right side. Okay. Checked. And gears are fixed. We're yep. good to go. Now get up. So you went to LNAV plus V, so now your glide path ought to come, be coming in, and when you get to the glide path, you can start down it. Okay. All right, glide's up alive. Those are definitely alive. Yep, follow the glide path down to your minimums. The minimums on this approach are an MDA, minimum descent altitude, okay? So, as opposed to a decision height like you'd have on an ILS or a precision approach. So that means you, know, you go down to your minimums, level off, and look for the runway. Real world, if you're flying one of these things and you're coming down the glide path and you pop out, you're going to see the runway and you're going to continue your descent. So you just added power and your I didn't air know because I, I, I know I... I felt uh, being pushed up, that's why I was, and my airspeed started going down. I know I want to keep it within 90, but okay. at this point, once I cross here is when I want when I want to go to 90. Okay. Does that make sense to anybody other than me? Uh, 
So now you're getting ready to start down the glide path. Not cooperating today. Hi, right, what sucks? Mile mark is going to be Forna. Yeah, one mile before uh, one more mile before Forna. Three miles. George Sun Tower, Warrior 8405, Mike, uh, straight in runway 18, three miles. 405, Mike, clear to land, runway 18. Clear to land, runway 1805, Mike. so I can put my sunglasses on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that sun's off to the side. Georgetown Tower, it's 9451. Tango inbound from the northeast about 10 miles out at 4,000 feet. Pressing a full stop. Tango 9451, Tango, Georgetown Tower. Make straight in the runway 18 and report a two-mile final. Straight in, runway 18, call it at 2 miles, 5 Tango. Alright, so depending on how you're flying this, you may be said, okay, you're at your minimums, level off, and when you level off at your minimums, and add some power to stabilize, then, okay, and then look out for the runway, go visual, okay, okay. The runway. okay and, and go visual, and... Pop out of an ILS or something like that when you got a nice stable approach. You know, you, walk, you look up and you see the vases and you see everything and you're on a glide path and you just continue down. You gotta keep coming down to the runway. You gotta pull your power all the way off. Hold your nose up. Hold your nose up. Hold your nose up. Stay on center line. A little. I gotta go around. No, you don't. Okay. You can. Now, Just on Tower Warrior 8405, Mike's going around. 8405, Mike, Roger, make left traffic. Okay. Left traffic, 05 Mike. Attention all aircraft, data information, echo, current Georgetown, altimeter 29 or 76. All right, straight ahead to 1,500, uh, 1,300 feet, VFR pattern. Just on tower, November.
the one four three. You didn't have full flaps in on that. Position departure. Oh, so that made you float a lot farther. You only had two notches of flaps. I didn't know if you did that on purpose. No, I completely spaced it. Okay. So that really made you float a lot farther. It made it feel different. Feel. And the uh, echo is current. I confirm echo is current for the Victor Alpha report midfield. But there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, if you're not comfortable with what's going on, going around. It's always the safest thing to do. Left turn. Okay. Clear out here. Downwind. Okay. And climbing to 1,800 feet. Good. So climb at 79 clear instead of. Clear to land, runway 18. Clear to land, runway 18. That was a nice approach and stuff, but you, did, but you, you were floating a long way because you were a little fast, you didn't have your full flaps in. So it's just, you know, it had a lot less drag and it probably felt different to you. And like it. Yep. All right, coming back to 1900, we're going to okay. lower off, 1900. And about 1500. The VFR pattern, you know. Long airplane, sorry. Yes. <laughs> And half ground, half sky, you got to keep your descent going. You don't want to do that? Have a tennis, we start our turn. Okay. Nose down, so you're speed, you know, keep your descent going all the way around so you don't roll out on final high. and off at Bravo for zero five Mike. Zero five Mike, text power choice via Bravo Alpha, monitor ground. Bravo Alpha and monitor ground for zero five Mike. Come on, five one Tango, your traffic short final. Runway one eight, be doing a touch and go. Number two, clear to land. Runway one eight. Clear to land. Runway one eight. Number two, and looking for the helicopter. Five one Tango. sit there for a little while, then they go. <laughs> awesome day. Yeah, you did pretty decent today. <laughs> and, and 
obviously you can tell how the weather conditions make a big difference. And that's just, you know, that's just part of it. Yeah. 